Welcome guys, it's time to play, and this time it's not me uh, who's playing, but it's Jerry. Hi, Hi. Jerry. Hello. <laughs> um, Jerry is one of my first uh, regular viewers, and the first one who asks for general advice and coaching, so he has the questionable honor of being the first one being coached on stream <laughs> by me. I hope you can enjoy it in the future. Um, yeah, we're we're doing um, well. The program is like one or maybe two arena runs, but I hope it's just one because it will go so well, and I have to talk a lot. So uh, that's the general play for today. Yep. Um, so maybe you would like to introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I'm pretty. Uh Fairly new to Hearthstone. Okay. I have some friends that have played it a lot, but okay. So how you, how long do you play the game? Uh, I've been playing for I don't know two or three weeks or so, and for a while it was kind of a like a, a three to five hour a day kind of thing, kind of fairly fairly intensive, I suppose, for a for a casual game. And then the last few days it's kind of tapered off a little bit, and I've been playing other games and whatnot. Okay, so I b but I believe we are speaking about the game like for more than a month for now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but you're yeah, I'd but you're into it like one month or. Yeah, like when I first started talking to you, that was like that was pretty early in my. Uh, okay. Yeah, like my playing Hearthstone. Oh, you have have saved up exactly like three hundred gold. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had, I finished some quests yesterday and got up to 400, and I was like, oh, I can buy a pack and still have enough for two arena runs, so I treated myself. <laughs> okay, great. So you're not buying Nux uh, Wings, or? No, I'm thinking uh, possibly here soon that I will just buy it for, like, buy all the wings for, like, the $20 price, so. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Uh, well, it's, uh, I think some people calculated that it's, if you want to spend money, then it's the best way to, because uh, uh, to spend it on X because the conversation rate is the uh, best. Yeah. Overall. Okay, so which one, uh, which class do you want to pick? I'm thinking shaman. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with paladin, and I've played a little bit of warlock, but not as much as I've played shaman. Okay. Yeah, I, I think my like my fifth arena run that I e done e have ever done was uh, with Paladin, and I clicked like so. Whoa, Blessing of King sounds nice, and this one sounds great, and, <laughs> I, and I went like nine wins and didn't know why, but <laughs> turned out pretty well. Okay, uh, so I think as a rule of thumb for today, we're doing something like you you tell me what you would do, and I tell you what I think of it, and then you choose. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go with Shaman. It's actually my best uh, run was Shaman. I'm thinking definitely Drake. Yeah, of course. Uh, I want to say Dark Iron, but I feel like Bloodlust has its merits. Um, yeah, I'm into the Dark Iron also. Yeah. Cause it's, it's too too good value. And it's generally your more useful. Bloodlust ends <laughs> often up as a dead card and. Or you yeah. have to use it like for one or two totems to trade to mm -hmm. not get overrun or something. That's yeah, it's, basically it's more of a constructed uh, yeah. thing, I guess. Yeah, Dark Iron Dwarf is uh, uh, much more solid. Can mm -hmm. also play it on an empty board. Yeah, I'm thinking Unbound for sure. Yep. Agreed. <laughs> oh. Knife Juggler or Lava Burst? I'd be inclined to say Knife Juggler. Yeah, I think both. Uh, I think both are right, but knife juggler would have been my choice too. Yeah. Hex. Ah, uh, I'm thinking about the ventrico, but having one heart removal is yeah. always nice. Okay, so go with the hex. Boulder fist, I'd say. Possibly cult master, but I'd say go with boulder fist. Um. Yeah. Uh, thinking about that, I often end up without any big guys. It's <laughs> it's probably yeah. the best choice here. <laughs> I really like the Frost Wolf and Shaman decks, but 
right. Uh, I'd say since it's so early in like the the card selection, that I'd say it's worth getting this. Agreed. Ooh. Hmm. I think Harvest Golem is going to be a little bit better than the utility that Sergeant would give. Mm. Yeah. So why why am I doing this? You're <laughs> just like doing like all the choices that I, I don't know. Have. I feel yeah. I feel like I do pretty well in drafts, and then I just go in and oh, don't okay. don't do so well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> still. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Definitely. Um. I want to say Rockbiter, but I feel like none of these are especially fantastic choices. I feel like it has good synergy with the Doomhammer if I get it, but it's it. I mean, it's nice just for like a clear of something annoying too. Yep. Hmm. This is interesting. <laughs> I never really, I never really put a lot of thought into the Death Lord yet, but I have, I really have no idea what I would pick here. <laughs> well, you have to pick something. Yeah, I can't just pass. Uh, <laughs> Give me another I would say, pick of prayers. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I would say because cold light kind of it's it lets your opponent draw cards, so it's not great. And then Death Lord lets them put a minion on the field. But I'm not sure how much utility I would get out of the the gadget Zan with the deck so far. I I would honestly be between Death Lord and Gadget Zan, but I feel like I would end up picking Gadget Zan. Yeah, I think so too. I, I haven't no, I, I haven't seen Death Lord in arena so far, so I'm not sure what. But but if it's get uh, well, if you kill it and or if your opponent kills it and it, you end up putting him and Yeti on the board or such, can be very devastating, I guess. So yeah, Gadget Zan sounds nice to me. And if you can get a card draw from like rock by the weapon or something, then it's definitely yeah. valuable. Yeah. On the long run. Mm, I'm thinking frost shock here. Okay. Um. None of these are great. This yeah. This pack is actually bad, but I think I would end up with Silverman Guardian. Having that's what I was thinking is possibly a second. Yeah, just to have a another minion. But I ha don't have much love for the first truck, but otherwise it could synergize somewhat with the Azure Drake or the Gadgets and Oak Jr., but it's your choice. Yeah, I think I would take the Silver Moon, just to, just to have a another minion. I mean, I don't even have, like, a lot of spells, but it's... I mean, if it were, like, Earthshock, then it would definitely have yep. a lot of utility. Okay, cool. Thinking War Golem. Yep. <laughs> this one is stubborn. Yeah. Uh, I'd say either that or Wind Fury. Wind Fury is really fun, but it's not. It's not good on an empty board. Yeah, but so it can no, be a real game changer. Yeah, especially with something like Silverman Guardian or something. Yeah, I would say Wind Fury. Okay, I was about to say just pick your stupid frost truck, but <laughs> Windfear is also right, so Yeah. It'll, it's okay, Frost Shock will come up again in two two more sets. <laughs> <laughs> uh probably unstable ghoul maybe. Mm Yeah, it's not that great with totems and stuff, but yeah. since the pack is terrible, it's yeah, probably the best choice. Yeah. I have to look after the chat by the <laughs> way. Oh. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um, where's my Skype winner? There. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'd say either. Uh, maybe Amani. Amani and Unstable is kind of. Uh, I would be inclined to say the Storm Pike to have a. a no Another bigger body so far, but this is kind of a. I feel like this is not a fantastic pack. Yeah, uh, regarding that, we only have like two two drops and two three drops. I would just go with the Amrani here. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I felt like it probably fit the curve a little better. I wasn't too sure. Uh, I take the sergeant here. Yep. 
especially good in shaman with all those tokens. Yeah, definitely Yeti. Yeah. I think the Alkalite definitely has its merits, but I would probably I would feel like I'd be inclined to take the Sinjin. I feel like Alkalite's a little too good for Arena to pass up though. Yeah, it's a close call, definitely. I think none of these choices would be wrong, but regarding that the only card so far is... Uh, oh no, we have an Azure Drag. Uh, I was about to say uh, the, the gadgets and... But I still think mm -hmm. Acolyte could fit in this deck very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, definitely Fire Elemental. With the clo it's Flame Tongue Close Second, the Fire Elemental is just too good to pass up. Yeah, and uh, especially regarding the curve. We're now yeah. hitting the spot where we have to care about the curve. Yeah. Um. Wow. I I feel I feel like the Earth Elemental is the right answer here. <laughs> I think these are this is a solid epic pack. Yeah. I'd say. Um, Mountain Giant obviously also has its its moment. Um, yeah. Uh, we don't have any taunt so far, right? Oh mm. uh, no, yeah. we have the unstable ghoul. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Earth Elemental is, is great. I would say either another Hex or the Stormwind Knight just for the curve, but I'd feel like Hex is, is, is like Polymorph and it's too good to... It's good to have a couple of them. Yeah, I agree. So it's kind of a close call, but... Yeah. Ooh. I like the Spectral Knight, but I like the Venture Co. as well. <laughs> was about to say the same. <laughs> I haven't seen uh, much yeah. Spectral Knight in action, but I think it's... It looks like they're wearing the same armor, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Venture Co. should definitely be uh, immune to spells. Um, yeah. Oh, that would be that would be absurd. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, I think I think Venture Co is good here. Yeah, it often trades it's well good, in arena. Yeah. Yeah. And I can still play, you know, uh, totems for just two mana, so it's yeah. not like I just instantly lose my stream of minions. Hmm. <laughs> I'd say probably the Ancient Brewmaster. Yeah, here. definitely. Regarding curve, and you well, the, well, yep. you had you would have the rockbiter or the abusive sergeant to go with the squire, but don't yeah. want to rely on <coughs> such things. Mm. I, I'm thinking shattered sun since we have a rockbiter and a ghoul, and the ghoul's not like fantastic value. I, I was just counting our early drops, and we have like two, three drops, and. Three, two drops. So I think Shattered Sun is definitely a good choice here. Yeah. Especially, it it can also buff totems and stuff. So. Yeah. Mm, I think Stormwind is too good to pass. Yeah, up. definitely. Especially with totems. Yep. I want to take Flame Tongue here. The curve looks a little bit strange. It's just one. Ah no. I, I, okay. I. Oversaw the Unbound Elemental. Uh, Flame Tongue. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we got the one Venture Co. I, I honestly want to say a third Hex. Uh, could you could you just scroll down a bit? Oh, yeah. Okay, we have the more going on. No, I, 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 th I would say we... Definitely don't want a third hex. We want a venture. Code. Yeah, it could end up being a pretty dead drop. Yeah. Actually, um, venture code's another another solid big body yeah. to have. Oh, uh, I would say either dark iron or fairy dragon, and I'm a little more inclined to fairy dragon just to to kind of bolster my two drop potential. Um. 
But then again, my four drops are fair, a little bit low. Like, if I got those up, then that'd be just a solid mid-game. Yeah, it's, it's uh, another close call, but I think I would go with the Dark Iron Drop, because y y as a Shaman you don't rely too much on, on the two drops, and Dark Iron yeah. is just a solid choice of all. Mm -hmm. Especially regarding De some... I'd definitely take X. Oh yeah, of course. Especially regarding what? I cut you off a little bit. Yep. Uh... I like the Ancestral Spirit, but I feel like the MC tech can really mess with people that flood the board. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> I'd also go with the Mind Control tech. You definitely don't want the Engine Watcher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially not with the... I have nothing to, you know, help it out. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm very glad that we took the second Venture Co. Well, yeah. The Earth Element is also pretty big, but Frostwolf could be big, so I think we have a good amount of late game. Mm -hmm. We also have a reasonable amount of early game. Mid game is pretty strong with two Dark Irons, a Yeti. Mm -hmm. uh, Silverman Guardian and Brewmast are not that great, but it's still good. Yeah, I think it was yeah. a solid draft overall. And I think you yeah. got the, the basic understandings of the game pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the first the first uh, shaman um, arena that I did, I ended up I think with with two or three fire elementals, and that was yeah, that was that's... great. <laughs> All right, yeah. so let's jump right in, see what we can do. I always hate people who play like for fire elementals over the whole game. It's... Yeah, and like oh they played uh, they played two fire elementals, they're they're done with that, and then they just play two more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That is my third minion, and I'm out of answers. Yay. Yeah, and then and then they have a bunch of sixes, six damage on the board, and you're just oh. you don't like it. They don't even die to fire, uh, flame strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really annoying too. I guess it's just because they're made of fire, like you know, <laughs> no no problem to them. <laughs> All right, I think I want to ditch the earth elemental here, and that might be it. I'd keep the rock biter for early removal, the Berserker for sure, and I also toss the Brewmaster. Mm. You would toss the Brewmaster? Yeah. I, I mean, if you play the Amani on two, you m might be able to play it on three. But yeah. You don't want to remove just bring that. bring back that, yeah. yeah. <coughs> mm, okay. Maybe you should have kept it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. I feel like I'm content to just pass. Yeah, it's probably the right choice, but uh, okay. But I I was tempted to coin out the. Berserker just for the tempo yeah. and then you could remove like all stuff that's coming up with the rock biter. Yeah. Otherwise you can just coin it out now and th with the rock biter. Mm -hmm. Or just play the harvest going, I don't know. I feel like this turn I could play the um Ma honey and then clear the rock biter and then next turn have the harvest goal yeah. to play. Feels good. Stormwind map too strong. I feel like if he coin out the the berserker before, then we could have done two damage now. <laughs> wow! Yeah, probably. This guy's nice. Bold, playing a bomber. He's got it. Wow. He's got it. <laughs> yeah, well, imagine if he had hit one uh, on the berserker. Mm -hmm. Strange that choice. That would have been fantastic. Yeah, it's mm. a strange choice to play a bomber on this board. I'm thinking play the golem and then trade the Amani into the mana worm, but that doesn't kill it. 
it just makes me a you know a five two. Yeah, then he can trade with like your ability and mana worm. I don't think there's any benefit. Yeah. If you want to trade, then with a bomber. Yeah. Definitely play the harvest golem. Yeah. In case. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll trade into the bomber. Yeah. Uh, against the mage is probably the best choice regarding something like, well, like all the spells that can kill your minions. Mm-hmm. Crossboard and stuff. Yep. <coughs> oh, it likes a little bit. Mm. I only got a four drop. Convenient draw. Yeah, I guess I just drop it and then uh, kill one of the mirror images. Yep, not so great after all, but yeah, we'll just clear next turn probably something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's something like arcane missiles. We're pretty screwed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we, get we have some comeback cards. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, we got the late game. Yeah. Just have to survive turn five somehow. Oh man. <laughs> Solid plays. Yep. I'll take it. Mm. I feel like uh, Warlord will lose a lot of value on this board, so I'm thinking to just drop the gadgets in. Hmm. We had another spell in here, right? We have used the rock biter. What was yeah, the other we have spell? Two two, we have two hexes. Oh right, yeah. Um, yeah. I think a five five for five mana is solid, and it would survive a possible flame strike in two turns. Yeah, that makes sense. So okay. I drop the frost wolf and. Yeah. Um, next turn we can kill something with a fire elemental. Yeah. I don't have a image by the way right now. It's frozen, oh. so. Tell me what's happening up. if I miss uh, something. <laughs> oh, my, my frost wolf got turned into a sheet. Oh. That's okay. Bait, bait the removal. Do you have the uh, video back? I don't have a picture, so... Uh, you just sheeped your warlord and... Yeah. What? Killed your uh, minion. Probably. Yeah, and he killed my uh, my did my damage golem, but I drew a knife juggler, so I think that since there's just the mirror image on the board, I should wait to play the fire elemental, but I could just clear it with the fire elemental and have the six five on the board on an empty board essentially. Yeah, it's probably the most pressing choice because you have also like two seven drops. Yeah. Okay. Playing Hearthstone the audio way. <laughs> Do you want me to try to like cancel the screen share and then reshare the screen? Yeah, something like that. Ah, I, I have a picture. Sometimes you just gotta threaten it. <laughs> okay, water. Oh, um, no, the first Nova. This guy is wasting. Well, no, yeah. not wasting, man. It's a lot of cards that he plays just yeah, for. He's the putting a, like a lot of cards down. Yeah. Yeah. I think Frost Wolf, uh, Frost uh, Stormwind Champion is best because it yeah. protects your sheep for the following turn. Yeah. And also f survives Flame Strike. Yep. And gives me a nice seven six uh, if it ever gets unfrozen. <laughs> yeah. And it also trades with uh, well, it also kills the water element. Yep. Okay. Wow. This guy brought a um, a. Uh, control mage to arena. Yeah, freeze mage. It's just <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, okay. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm thinking about a possible flame strike. I mean, the drafts, uh, the the drafted cards could le uh, point in this kind of direction. So both guys would die, and an ogre would too. But then he would be left with like two cards. Mhm. Mm um. I think there is no big benefit in playing the war golem over the ogre. Um. Mhm. Mm I would, I'm thinking probably just Ogre and then Totem in case he doesn't have Flame Strike and then it's, you know, it's yeah. just two, two mana down the hole essentially. Yeah. Was my thinking as well. But it doesn't play around Mind Control Tag. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you're... Well, now that you say that... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't... I think that it's still... I think it's still worth going for. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you uh, uh, if you place flame strike, is this a six four then? Mm-hmm. Oh well, uh, right. Good call. Yeah. Is it a six four now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So he has to use all his resources. Yep. Okay. Wow. So now I think mm -hmm. it's time for oh, uh, it's your call. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that. Um, War Golem and either a Totem or the Flame Totem is fine, or basically War Golem and any of the two two mana options I have. But I see that there is merit in playing like the like just filling the board. But I, I wouldn't imagine he would hold two Flame Strikes for this long. Would be a strange deck then. Um, I would basically play the Juggler and the War Golem to have something that trades with small stuff and the Jew can still hit his face or something. Yeah. And then I can follow up with Flame Tongue if they yeah. you know if they both stay. Flame if if you can't benefit from the Flame Tongue then you shouldn't play it. I yeah. Yeah, point. it's just kind of a uh, dead body sort of thing. Like no. it'll it, it, he has a chance to clear it. Yeah. If he plays a frostbolt on it then there wasn't any benefit. Mm hmm Wow. Mm. <laughs> this guy has some it's a strange dig. I get the hex. Um, I kind of want to hit him in the face with my knife juggler to make sure it's not vaporized. Uh, could also be. Uh, well, could could yeah, could be all of them. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid of duplicate. Don't want to give him two uh, water elements. Yeah. I'm thinking of hexing that. Yeah. Like I want to, I I want to attack his face with the juggler to make sure it's not vaporized, and then hex the elemental and kill it with the golem, and then I would probably play just a totem and then possibly pass with five mana. If you want to hex, I would play the auctioneer. Okay. Then yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna think. You know, worst case scenario, I lose the knife juggler. Yeah. So. Oh, Ice Barrier, okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's definitely a Freeze Mage, it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, now you don't have to play the Auctioneer anymore. Okay. Potential Mirror. Auctioneer and get a card with a Hex from it. That was, like, my plan. Oh, wow. that uh, this, <laughs> this guy. Wow. Okay, so definitely make sure that if this is mirror image, um, mirror entity, that you don't end up with screwing yourself. Yeah. Um. I would say to bait out the the mere entity with the flame tongue, but that's so, like, excessive. I feel like I could just play the gadgets and, and if he gets one, that's okay. And then I can play Venture Co. Yeah, but he has so many spells in his deck. <laughs> yeah. What'd be like Miracle, then? Um, yeah, maybe we just play the flame tongue. Let's, let's look what happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's... Nice. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. 
Ventrico? Yeah. Ventrico yeah, I like the Ventrico play. Totem and... And a taunt for taste. I mean, a totem for taste. <laughs> oh, and it'll heal my war goal. That's nice. It's not bad. Yeah, Crown, I, I also feel like this game is insane. <laughs> this, this guy's just... has just drafted yeah. all the spells that... <laughs> now we know why. Guy. Good God. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, Wait, now we buddy. know why. Probably, <laughs> he, he was probably like, the first p pick was a uh, legend, and <laughs> full of legendaries, and he just picked the Antonidas and said, I am picking all the spells so that I can find yeah. in this deck. Wow. First win. Yeah, hey. Yes. Not too difficult. I had no idea you could purchase additional packs of expert cards from the shop. So I'm learning learning new things every day. Huh? What? <laughs> the little the little tip at the bottom <laughs> told me how to buy packs. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> oh boy, another mage. Uh, surprising. Yeah. Yeah, really surprising. I want to get rid of the two fives and keep these. Yep. Consistent call. I just I just realized the unbound elemental into um, earth elemental um, synergy. <laughs> actually, I forgot that that would that would apply it. I think I want to coin out one of my two drops since I have two of them, but yeah. I could just save the coin. Mm, we we have a decent curve, so I think there's no reason for now to save the coin. Yeah. Just get tempo going. Yeah. So I'm thinking Knife Juggler first, so next turn I can get the one damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he has Frostbolt, he will use it on the first one, but... Yeah. Still not... Uh. <laughs> or okay. just ping it. <coughs> yeah, so I would just drop the Imani and then yep. hit his face. I've added our score to the to the screen. Nice. <coughs> yeah. He lost a lot of tempo there. He did, yeah. Okay, obvious. Yeah. Just unbound, and then hope for an overload. <laughs> <laughs> as do much we? as I kind of do yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, dude. I think we only have the Earth Elemental. Do we have more overlook? Uh, we have the uh, Stormforge X too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, besides those two, we really oh. don't. Yeah, the first arena I had, I had a lot. I had like two axes, and I think a lightning storm, and a forked lightning. I had, I ended up having like five or six overload cards with two unbound al elementals, so it it worked out pretty fairly well. Okay, this was his turn four. It serves us well, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say. Um, Shattered Sun into uh, the Imani, and that would make him a 3-4, and he could trade to the Grizzly. Yeah, but well, then he, then he would get pinged, yeah. I would just uh, use the Rock Biter for the bear and uh, buff something. Mm -hmm. Probably the Earth Elemental, so it d can't die to a future Flame Strike or something. Yeah. So Rock Biter yourself for the bear. Yeah. Um, next turn, Azure Drake looks pretty solid overall. Mm -hmm. This guy has a lot of cards in his hand. Yeah, <laughs> that's the downside. So yep. definitely have to be very devout of possible flame strike. Ooh, mm -hmm. we got the elemental out of range. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I'm inclined to play the Frost Wolf. Yep. Into a turn six. So he's a six six. He can potentially handle the Kodo next turn. Should I trade these? I shouldn't trade these two into the Kodo, right? I should just hit his face. Yeah. Especially regarding the the tempo that we've got so far. I mean, it's, yeah. He's at thirteen now. Yeah. If he doesn't come up with the Blizzard or something, then we might be able to finish the game very early. Yeah. 
We could have played around the AOE by just trading all the stuff in and leaving the big guy alone, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's uh, in the end it's a mate, right? So he yeah, plays a fireball or polymorph, yeah. and then the whole board is gone because of one Kodo. Yeah, yeah it kind of forces his hand in a way to not trade. Yeah, there it is. Mm. All right. What timing? <laughs> what timing? <laughs> Just do it. Just do yep. it. Blast, blast the Kodo. Goodbye. Goodbye, wonderful Kodo. You did so well. Even if he has Flame Strike now. Or... Yeah, we'll still have the 6 1 and they'll have used his whole turn. Whoa. Or I mean, he could do that. <laughs> I, I'm I'm still one off. Well, I guess he could still play his. You know, what he still has a whole all of his mana because I just <laughs> face a lot. You could just play another one and play like okay, like this yeah. one. <laughs> this wow. is a hand mage. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. I want. I feel like I want a Stormwind Champion and trade the the Earthen Ring for the um, the Unbound Elemental. Hmm. Because okay. this would be a four five. It would end up a four two. We're still quite ahead, but I'm feeling like we're pretty much behind because of this molten giant. Yeah, yeah. It's quite threatening. And it just kills the champion and we don't have something to kill it then. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Sullivan Guardian. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably okay. the right play that you yeah. just su suggest. Hitting his face will just, well, yeah, nothing. Yeah. If he plays a flame strike now, I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> I don't like the looks of this. Okay, that's. <laughs> it could be worse. Play one. Okay, I'm I'm tempted to MC Tech and just risk getting a mirror image because I could get that giant. Mm, let's have a look what he does with. The, uh, okay, no. Still tempt. Um. My suggestion is kill one of the mirror images and then play MC Tag. Ah, uh, yeah, that is a that is a good strategy. Oh. That's it's the second best option, if not the best option, as a matter of fact. I would play probably Azure Drake here and just. Well, I don't know. That's. That's asking for a flame strike. Yeah. Maybe totem, and then pass. One of it. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Maybe have a skull on totem. Yeah. Let's roll the totem. That's not bad. Yeah. Send it to it's a little slightly more flame flame strike resilient board. Mm. And it can trade into the giant if he doesn't Okay. Alright, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just top deck it, huh? Yeah. You? Okay. Nothing we can do about top decks. Nope. Going to be a close game. Yeah. Hmm. I guess water elemental into the mirror image and then golem into the. Yeah, gold. first I would play the Azure Drake. Yeah. 
to make maybe we can draw into a bit something better. Mm -hmm. Lame tongue isn't essentially better. I feel like it's gonna be really good for the um the state of the board. Yeah. So now we're a lot more evened up. Um I'm inclined to play Yeti, but I don't know. I just I feel like I really want to be passive and just like totem, hope for a taunt, and then hmm. possibly even pass from there. I Mimi mean, has nine. He has ten damage on the board right now, so if to do something. Yeah. I believe. Um. Wow. If he plays, still have to be very deep of flame strike. Mhm. Mm um. I kind of like the Silver Moon yeah. Guardian, actually, because it trades with anything he has on the board right now. Yeah. And then he has to trade into it if he wants to kill it with Flame Strike. No Kron, we don't have any Lightning Storms in this deck. But it would be nice. Yeah. Especially now with the Azure Drake. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, sweet! <laughs> second game set, second legendary. That's interesting. Yeah. That's scary. Uh, hmm. Okay, so one of the cards is a dream card. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, hey, I can make five. this a seven five. Yeah. For the turn. It still doesn't trade with the Sarah. Yeah. And if I play anything in the dream card as Sarah awakens, then I'm just have an empty board. <laughs> yep. Mm. I don't know. I kind of feel like I just have to play everything. I w no, I wouldn't commit myself so much to the board, so... Yeah. Just, um, and, and you don't benefit from the Flame Tongue Totem at the moment. Yeah, I would say, I would honestly probably just Yeti for now. Yeah, uh, totem first, let's see if, if it opens. Oh, yeah, open. yeah, yeah. Uh, not really. Uh, it'll yeah. just heal. I'd trade into the Apprentice and just play the Yeti. Well, if he doesn't trade with any of my guys, I think that I win next turn. So I have seven, I'll get four, so it'll be 11, 12, 13 from the dwarf. Yep. Sweet. Here comes the ice block. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't seem to play Ysera Awakens. Yeah. Could still play, well, what a dream? Return something to the hand? Or yeah. The emerald dragon or the s sister thing. So. Yeah, the laughing sister. I like where this is headed. No, not if you that's turn to your yeti. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a rat. So, put the flame tongue between these, buff Does, anything, and matter, then we won. Yeah. yeah. Send him home. It was the totem of destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Who needs legendaries? Solid. Two mages down. I'm excited to play against ten more of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe eleven or twelve. That would be that would be so exciting.
Okay, so what do you usually get in Arena? What's uh, lately, it's been pretty terrible, but um, my best is six or seven, I think, with the Shaman. And then I think I've gotten a couple of, like, four and fives, and then quite a few, like, threes, and even a couple of uh, zeros. I think I want to drop the Yeti. And then I feel like I could keep these two. But I guess the, the Dwarf and the Yeti are kind of interchangeable. Hmm. Yeah. I had to just both back probably because you don't have any follow-ups for now. And you're yeah. going first so you can smooth something out with the coin. Okay. <coughs> uh, looks better. Yeah. Just want to destroy everything, right? It's the calling of Strathlon. <laughs> um, I think I still want to play the Mani here. Yep. It actually has surprising synergy with the Unstable Bull. <laughs> yes. Also thought so. Mm. Mm hmm. hmm. What are the ghoul stats? I don't know them by heart. I think it's 1-3, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to play it. Yep. I'm with you there. And then hit his face? or Well, yeah, hit his face. Because yep. then if he trades into the guy, then my guy dies. Yep. Yep. I don't see many possibilities for him to kill the Berserker from there. Yeah. I mean, he could come up with a Shattered Sun or something, but um, mm. it wouldn't kill the Berserker at all. Okay. So I can trade back into it, get this buffed. And then even Dark Iron Dwarf it. And he would just have his Harvest Golem, and I could hit his face for... Like, seven. And it would kill the ghoul as well. Well, yeah, it would kill the ghoul. Yeah, the obvious choice for him is to trade, right? With the seven, with the five two. Then he has a two one. And we'll have a four four. You could also play a consecration, then yeah. and trade his two one into R four four. Do we have we yeah. have a follow up? We have some strong follow ups. Okay. So it might be okay. Yeah. So you think I should trade it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. If he played his Harvest Golem first, I would probably... Uh, yeah, okay. Then his Death Rattle would go before ours, and then we could have yeah. killed the Damaged Golem. But yeah. In this order, it's probably the best to just pressure mm -hmm. him. And if he doesn't have Consecration, then it might be really good for us. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. What a weird, what a weird trade. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but uh, it's a lot. I, don't, I don't get it, but yeah, we'll give him that. <laughs> so I should just drop Venture Co. To be honest, I'm not sure because our follow-up plays are so strong. Yeah, yeah. Then we would be out of follow-up for a few turns. Um. I could, I could probably just get away with the silver moon. I don't know if I would trade this into him because then he could just trade yeah, back. So I would just probably hit his face. Yeah. yeah. It's a little less mana efficient, but in the long run, it's more mana efficient, I guess. Mm -hmm. I also thought about just dropping the mind control tech here and totem. Yeah, I, I was thinking of that too, but. Well, at least we have the 6-7 and the 7-7 seven, seven for the next turns. So. Yeah, yeah. Also, the Venture Co. is somewhat 
Yeah, now that I think about it, the Venture Co. is um, pretty vulnerable to uh, Humility or um, the Peacekeeper. Then you have a yeah. one six that destroys your curve at all. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then you're searching for your enemy to have some big minions <laughs> yeah. that you can trade it into. Okay, hmm. the ogre face looks pretty solid. Yeah. And if he has humility, you'll play it on the ogre. So. Yeah. And I mean, then I'll just flame tongue it, and it'll be a three seven. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get that maximum flame tongue value. Hmm. Would have been also annoying. Yeah. <coughs> the only thing that would make me upset now is Big Game Hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think War Golem is still the right choice. Yeah. Just overload him with big bodies. Yep. It's a pretty smooth curve here. If you play something and a guy, yeah, no, no, I don't think that the mind control attack will hit. But we are yeah. pretty far ahead if we look at the health. Yeah, I mean we have lethal showing, so he re he has to deal with it, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, equality would do the trick. Yeah, that would that would be painful. But if he just has equality without um, a follow up like consecration, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, he just trades. Mm -hmm. oh. So close with the mind control tech. Yep. <laughs> mm, I'm inclined to just potentially Stormwind or Venture Co. and. Um, like flame tongue, well, flame tongue first, of course, but. Oh no. It's 8 to his face. So now his board trades with the ogre. Mm hmm. He showed that he doesn't have. didn't have any solutions. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if I Stormwind, then his board can't trade with my Ogre. Mm, that's true. But it makes it susceptible to BGH, but I... Uh, you didn't have one. I feel like, yeah, you would have played it on the War Golem yeah. if you could. So I feel like, all those things considered, that Stormwind might be my option yeah. here. So, I mean, it's not even... I guess it's really not that bad if he traded everything into the 6-5, because then it's, a, you know, a three-for-one trade, and I've already hit him in the face, I think, once, maybe. So. And if he has anything, you know, if he has just YOLO rags, then I can hex it. Bold strategy. Or just MC Tech it, too. Do you remember what we pick over the... Um, overload... Lava Burst. Lava Burst. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Wasn't the MC Tech? Then we would have lethal now. Uh, oh. Uh, over the Lava Burst? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, he heals before, right? Aww. Yeah. But either way. Bam. Oh, close. On a roll. So far, so good. What did we choose over the third hex? Just, uh... Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> 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 An 
know. I'll have to go. I'll have to go back and look through the through the vod. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to critique myself. Oh, really? Another mage. Awesome. I get corn. I think I want to send back the Mint Adventure Co. and the Dark Iron. Mm, feels solid. Hopefully, get a good two drop for the Shattered Sun. Mm. Okay. Alright. Still not terrible. Yeah, I could play a totem and then Shattered Sun it at the worst, but. And the rock biter uh, protects us from yeah nearly all two and three drops. Mm-hmm. I think I should just pass here. Yeah. Mm. What a bold play. <laughs> Totem and pass. Yep. Alright. This earring totem. The um mm. arguably the worst one, but yeah, I guess it has its uses. Ooh. It's definitely the worst now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh I wanna say Shattered Sun and then coin rock biter. Or totem rock biter and kill that and then just hit his face for one. Uh, I think the the first one uh, is the better play. Yeah. Rock Biter is health, of course. Yeah. Mm, I was about to say we have a good follow up play, but we have to. Re- no, no. Returning a Shattered Sun Cleric is mm, not even a bad idea. Yeah. After attacking, of course. Mm hmm. Mm. Or we just trade. Yeah. So, uh, trade and then uh, Ancient Brewmaster on an empty board. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's basically. Well, how many cards did we play? Rockbiter, Shattered Sun, against his. Yeah, okay. Hmm. That's definitely threatening for our Earth Elemental. Yeah. Uh, it's one one turn too early, otherwise we could just use the fire on metal. Mm-hmm. Um I like Azure Drake just to at least get a card draw. And it might even uh bait him into attacking it with the Cobra and just over the ancient brewmaster. Yep. Sounds fun. Not too good. Put him kind of on the back foot. (laughs) He doesn't know. Got him with the bait and switch. <laughs> this one, that one, this one. Uh, uh, okay, I will draw cards. <laughs> we'll we won't attack at all. This guy will never expect it. Well, jokes <laughs> on him. I don't have any spells. Yep. So a secret um, kind of muddies our options a little bit. And yeah, the secret is annoying now. Otherwise, I would have just played ogre. But yeah. Um, be like everything. Yeah. Other problem is that most of our stuff dies to a possible flame strike. Yeah. I want to hit him in the face and see if it's uh, vaporized. <laughs> you just. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now it's ogre. So yeah. Yep. It's all ogre now. <laughs> <laughs> First thing would be. No. No. no he would. Probably. Wow. Draw more cards. (laughs) (laughs) 
polymorph? No, okay. Hmm. Think. Uh. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I could just fire elemental, but I, I think that I want to trade the ogre into the... Well, I don't know, actually. It, I mean, it's a free trade, sort of, but it makes him susceptible to flame strike. And, fr and frozen on the next turn. Yeah, and yeah. You know what? I actually forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tempted to play the knife juggler with the earth elemental. I mean, it seemed like he doesn't yeah. have, didn't have some answers to big stuff, and yeah, I like that because it really, like, it it kills any advantage he was building. Yeah, and I can. <coughs> we don't care if he freezes our uh, Earth Elemental because yeah, it's yeah, it's still doing its job. Yeah. Oh boy! Like this guy. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't die to flame strike, so. Yep, yeah, it's extremely resilient. And I can work with five mana next turn. Wow, this guy. He knows. <laughs> oh. Huh. So, do I want to. Is it worth it to hex the Sludge Belcher? Uh, that's the question. Um, I'd say no, because in the following turns we can just play it together with a uh, Gadgetson to mm -hmm. draw, draw a card. Yeah. Um, uh, the the Damocles sword of, of Flame Strike is always mm -hmm. present. Um, I'd probably just send the ogre in and unbound totem. That's what mm. I would probably do, but I'm not sure if entirely. But healing totem would be like best. Yeah, healing totem would be uh, definitely. Be, uh, uh -huh. Well, you know, what can you do? Yeah. St still unbound, you think is the play? Yeah, all our stuff dies to flame strike, but. Yeah. I guess that's a risk we gotta take. We still have a a pretty reasonable amount of follow up though. Yeah. I can just I can In just instantly kill. Still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can just snipe his berserker with the but fire. But that's element. definitely a board that. I, oh, yeah. oh, interesting. It's definitely a board that I would flame strike. But, so yeah, definitely. This represents that he doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. Didn't th th well, I didn't think about the Amani, but. Yeah, that's okay. I don't think that we had something to go over this. So. The totem! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Not the... Oh. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we have... Uh, okay. Mm. We could abuse the totem and trade it into the slime, but I don't, I don't know how sold I am on that. We could fire elemental the slime, hit his face, I don't know. Just, we have a few options I think. I think my my favorite is killing the slime with the ogre, fire elemental the kodo, and use the abusive with the totem and make another totem. But right. uh, we we lose a lot of damage. Yeah. Hmm. I think we can afford it, but I would uh, totem first because we want the healing totem. Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, <No. laughs> okay. If he top decks flame strike, I'm really upset. Yeah, if he, if he, <laughs> really, any time in the last uh, two or three turns, the flame strike would have been not a great thing. Okay, so he's just gonna. 
12. Load the board. Wow. 12, Definitely 14, think there's... Uh, oh, we win. Nice. Otherwise it would <laughs> otherwise it would have been a great option just to MC tag. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking either that or well, I guess I could MC tag and then if things didn't go ideal I could hex whatever. Uh yeah. was still a problem. Dang. Okay, so after four wins, do you think you get something, some kind of learning effect from the whole thing? Yeah, I feel like it's really hard for me to figure out in words what it is but I feel like I have learned a lot um, a lot more about how to trade efficiently and how to like I don't know how to I guess set up like or how to think about like my different options and kind of the pros and cons of the different options okay that's Glad to hear that. You don't have to point this out more. Just hit the yeah. play button. Absolutely. <coughs> well, I, I, I didn't... Um, don't know the word. but I didn't tell you, but... I'm sure that you know that you will be up on YouTube later, right? I'll be what? You will be up on YouTube later. Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, I'll okay. be famous. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't get the approval from you, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's A-OK. -okay. I'm thinking the 5 and 4 that I want to get rid of, and possibly even the flame tongue, because I don't really have anything that works with it right now in my hand. Yeah, it's, mm, it's a druid. Mm. I'm not sure about the flame tongue, too. If, if we get a 2 drop, then it's great. If we have a totem, it could work. Uh, we could just coin out totem, a totem the first turn. Would be fun. <laughs> well, it's I'll your choice. Hold, I'll hold on to it, just in case. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I think coining out the totem is really an option here. Hey, the hero power totem? Yeah. 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 Because then we still have a two drop, a three drop, and yeah. we kind of have you know the tempo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least it potentially wastes. Yeah, it, at least it kind of wastes turn. <laughs> and now we don't have a two draw. Uh, yeah. Oh well. It's like the one and three that you get. A totem yeah. With one ha uh, one and four that you get the one health totem, but yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I think still totem. <laughs> yeah. Just hero power and. We were pretty the easy, um, fast with the last starts. That's. Pretty slow attempt now, but yeah, still might be fine if it's okay. It's not another searing totem. Yeah, that would have been a pain. I would. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would have been funny to see him hero power and just not have any plays for the first three turns, but. Hmm. Okay. I think it's time for oh. It's also interesting. I could flame tongue abusive sergeant, but then this trades into that, and then his damage golem can trade for my abusive. You can even trade for your flame tongue totem with his hero power. Yeah. So I think that I want to just possibly drop the harvest golem. I think it's a good time to play the echo line. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that too because then he can't tr he has to use his hero power to trade mm -hmm. with it and that's two cards for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's And the if point. he if he lets it stay alive, we can drop the flame tongue totem next turn. Mhm. Mm 
kill off the Harvest Golem, um, even the yeah. Damage Golem. Or yeah, and then we kind of force our value for it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, now. Okay. Hmm. We could um, Flame Tongue and Abusive Sergeant it and trade it into the Violet Teacher. That would get us only one card draw, and then his golem could trade back, but I feel like Violet Teacher is really threatening on the board. Yeah, we don't have a great 5 play. Hmm. Maybe the Harvest Golem would have been the better choice before, but for mm -hmm. now you might be right. Um, yeah. yeah, okay, just do it. Yeah. It's rough, but I mean, it, we do get some value out of it, yeah. which is nice. Reasonable. Game froze up. That's weird. <laughs> Just Back randomly again. froze up. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Well, then it still trades. Well, he's okay. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Close. Hmm. I feel like I messed up the whole start with coining out a totem. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it was it was basically a twenty five percent chance of it backfiring, and it did. But yeah. I feel like for now, knife juggler and harvest golem might be ideal. Yeah. Still not great, but yeah. At least we can kill the 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 uh, defender next turn with. The fire elemental. Mm -hmm. Could take some momentum. Well, get it. Should I trade the sergeant into yeah. the golem now? Oh boy. I want. I honestly want to attack the Sunwalker and then fire elemental into it, but that doesn't get rid of anything and they just trade back. Yeah. The damage golem is protected by the Sunwalker. It was a great, uh, great card. So I'm thinking that I want to run my golem into his, and then I can fire elemental the damaged one, which is really a waste of the three damage. But then it's the Sunwalker sort of struggles with trading against the fire elemental. Yeah, but it still has the divine shield then. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if we. Hmm. <laughs> That's hard. Okay, yeah. go ahead. You know, I completely forgot that my own golem turned into a damage <laughs> golem, too. That was a lot more beneficial than I expected it to be. These are the things that we learn. <laughs> yeah, I thought about just. Playing um, Silver Moon Guardian with a totem, yeah, I just to make about better trades too. next turn. Wow! Yeah. Wow. Okay, this guy is is set. Wow. Okay. Mm. 
guess we could we could totem frost wolf and then trade our golem into the divine shield. Yeah, looks looks like the best play we've got so far. Especially if we can roll a taunt totem. All right. <laughs> So now I can, it's I can set up slightly better trades than I would otherwise have been able to. I'm still not sure about the turn before the last one. Mhm. Mm yeah, I feel like we haven't had a lot of great options so far this game. Oh boy. Okay. Huh. Jeez, two harvest calls. Oh my god. Uh, Wish I, I had a light storm. <laughs> uh, we have an MC Tech. Yeah, MC Tech for sure. And I, I'm glad that he didn't play too many big guys. So, yeah. Or, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about if we can get better chances to get a bigger minion, but it seems, oh, seems yeah. okay. Yeah, because we would have had to hit into the Sunwalker. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was the best play because we could have get rid of the Sunwalker. I'm tempted to unbound and then Stormforge Dax, and I can get rid of two of his guys. Yep. Okay. So first, I wanna yeah trade that. And then yeah, yeah ooze, ooze right because it's the only one I can kill. Yep. We have to be a little bit cautious about something like Savitra from now on because yeah, we're pretty low. We're getting low, yeah. The thing I like is that so far we've been like with the way that we've played the turns, we've been fairly resilient to swipe. But, you know, sometimes you just get a stormwind champion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he killed him. Oh yeah, he's gonna take five. That's all right, we did our first damage to him. It's a good start. <laughs> the only thing that I don't like at the moment is our health total. Yeah. Um, and we don't have... Well, no. We could play Storm Champion and then run the X into his. Uh, no. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we have two hexes in here, right? So yeah, we could dig for it with the Azure Drag. Yeah, that's what I think that I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just some some kind of good answer. Okay, Ooh. that's not it. Okay, so totem is for sure. Let's see yeah. what we get. Roll taunt. Uh, that's not, but... <laughs> okay, so now it's 12 damage against us. 13, even. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Guess I want to trade into the... Like, get rid of these two. Yeah, you don't get rid of the golem, even if you... Yeah, don't it'll, yeah, it'll make a, just another 3-1. Just three hit his one. face. And With everything? Uh, no, no. That's, yeah. Oh, th that... Okay, I'm gonna just yeah get rid of that. Yeah, so basically, if he has two damage, he wins. Okay, I was <laughs> okay. I, I actually thought we you would trade with the okay. Oh, it doesn't matter yeah. at the end. Yeah, okay. either yeah, either way. Oh. Mm, ah, okay, he could have attacked yeah. with the zero. Okay, it's. I think we lost because of the bad start. Yeah. The. <laughs> A very aggressive opening. Yeah, that's okay though. <laughs> I mean, you know, you live in the alarm, so it's like because if we would have gotten one that was a zero two, then it would have like it would have hugely paid off. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. I mean, we're four now, so that's not. Okay, it's pretty so good. Welcome, good half ninety nine to the stream thing. I actually thought he would state something. Uh, well, speaking to the chat, he would state something after telling that you've watched some videos about it. 
probably just because reasoning is staying around. Yeah, yeah. I, I also think that Sunwalker won him the game, of course, because oh, yeah, we, we couldn't get rid of the divine shield. But it's definitely a huge we, we tempo. We would have been better. Uh, we would have had a better board position if we didn't play like two totems <laughs> in the beginning. Um, I'm not sure about whether or not to keep the Yeti here. I wouldn't because the Stumpfudge X yeah. overloads and yeah. we don't have uh, another turn whatever play before the Yeti. No. Yikes. Hmm. So welcome on board, half ninety nine. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so now coining out the MC tech is even worse. <laughs> 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 yeah, just pass. Okay, we have you know. a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6, basically. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Would coin out the Acolyte. Yeah. You know, I could have swore that last turn coining out a totem was our, was our play. <laughs> 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 yeah, of course, because it worked so well. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a perfect play the first time. No, it's okay. It, I I liked it. I liked the play when we did it. I fully supported the idea. Yeah, uh, but I mean, you're the, you're just <laughs> the student, you know. That yeah, you can't support uh, fancy ideas. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. I want to say Golem here. Yeah, it's a reasonable play. Golem was a Sith and trade the Acolyte with one of his guys to mm -hmm. get card advantage. Well, we have to. We we, we should have done it in reverse order, of course. Yeah, we well, should actually now that. Let's that, see. That's the that's the kind of things that I sometimes overlook. Like, you know, doing doing doing. Moves that will draw you cards in case you get like a better answer to whatever you're doing, mm. that kind of stuff. Oops. Oh, sweet! There it is. Well, I feel confident playing, if anything, the uh, the axe this turn because I have so many four mana plays, and then I'll go after that turn. I'll go straight into six mana and have the fire elemental. But uh, storm forged into knife juggler or totem isn't a fantastic play. I think maybe um, Dark Iron Dwarf and then hit his Death Lord for four. Yeah, we're a little bit late now. Just okay. yeah, just do it. Yeah, because yeah. then he still has to run something into my golem. I was actually thinking about Silvermoon Guardian and hit. Hmm. Yeah. Just, uh, I spent the whole turn doing some maths if we can get the uh, Death Lord down next turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's not looking good now. Well, of course we have the golem around and we have an axe, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. We'll oh, he didn't even. Wow, he didn't even trade into it, yeah. into the goal. So we so. get a free minion next turn. Yeah. We definitely don't want to hit this now. Uh, hex this man. Yeah. So um, hit, hit hit it with the axe and the goal. I think about the follow up. Um, X golem sounds good. Depending on what comes from our deck, it's probably MC tech then. Just for the mana. We have yeah. f five mana next turn. Uh, okay, that seems reasonable. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then we didn't have another option too. Okay, uh, Knife Juggler trades with the Golem. Um, he will kill the Unbound for sure. With the mm -hmm. yeah, just get the MC tag on the board. Okay. Doesn't die to consecration. Yeah, that's a, that's a bonus around this time in the game. Will I do more of this arena coaching? Uh, yes, that's the plan. Overall, mostly because I don't have. Wow. Jeez. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Ah, oh, we have an X. That's okay. Yeah. Huh. Wind Fury. Oh, uh, well. Nothing to Wind Fury here. Yeah, so Hex the Golem, I'm thinking for sure. Wait, wait. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would say. Do we want? To yeah, he could buff the. Yeah, okay. And play the hex and trade the damaged golem into the other thing. Yeah. I was thinking about losing three damage. It's worth, but he could have some other buffing stuff like uh, blessing of might. Yeah. I'm not do sure. Do you think I, I should knife juggler yeah. or totem? I th knife juggler is fine, I guess. We still have so many cards and so many plays within the yeah. next turns. Yeah. We can also just drop Auctioneer and Windfuse something next turn. Yeah. Could also work. If it was a mage, I would have said Totem with 7 mana, but. Yeah. In this case, it's far more thre threatening, especially with uh, his hero, hero ability and some stuff like this <laughs> coming up. Okay. Uh, screen froze for yeah. a short time. I think Shattered Sun on the Mind Control Tech hit the Fen Creeper and then Ancient Brewmaster the MC Tech back to my hand. And what's the benefit of this play? <laughs> I I keep the MC tech essentially, and then I can trade the knife juggler into the fin creeper. Hmm. But I feel like that still kind of wastes the shattered sun cleric's ability. Yeah, I would just say play the fire elemental on the fin creeper. Oh yeah, and I forgot I forgot that I had that. <laughs> go <laughs> go ahead, effect. go ahead, yeah. and then trade the knife juggler and uh, yeah. Oh, nice. perfect. And hit his face. And be done. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I imagine this. Yeah, sometimes you just have to remember the card that you've had since the very first <laughs> <laughs> It finally has his day. 
So what I was about to say is that I don't have so much um, uh, motivation to go to Legend this season, so the whole coaching thing seems like a good concept to do the educational stuff that the viewership demands. <laughs> hmm. um, okay, so the Wind Fuhrer option is gone now with the yeah. thing. Oh, he, he got a secret. I almost missed that. Um... I mean, my fire elemental can essentially be an imp killing machine now. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Kind of want to trade the MC tech into the peacekeeper. I I would say buff the uh, MC tech with the shattered sun. Mm. And kill the Amp Master just to check for all the secrets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I? Should I have the? Yeah, I guess I should. Have. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's I was like, uh, uh, should I attack with the Fire Elemental first, just in case? Yeah. That's okay. Fine. I see that. And Fire Elemental the Imp. Yeah. And what other? What else should I play? Uh, play something. <laughs> Silver Moon it is. <laughs> He can trade into the Aldor next turn if he doesn't trade into one of my guys. I didn't think about get down. I was more redemption or revenge. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, would have been better. I thought about Vin Fury, but the whole thing with two two people thinking just consumes so much I time. I know. It's, yeah, it is. It's <laughs> it's crazy. It's hectic at first. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Good that we can kill the imp. Yeah. But maybe you should have wind fury the MCE tag, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Earth Elemental really kills his tempo. Mm. You know what I'm thinking about? Gadgets and Auctioneer, Vin Fury the Silver Moon Guardian, kill the Cult Master, the Imp Master, mm -hmm. kill some of the tokens with a Fire Elemental, and mm -hmm. Totem. Yeah, I like that actually. He's got the best deals anywhere. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'd still tote him then. Yeah. And should I run this Shattered Sun into one of the other tokens? Yeah. Or just the. If it's Healing Totem, then for sure. Now I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, just kill it just in case. I mean, if he has consecration, it doesn't make a difference. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to get rid of the chance to have like a um, blessing of might or blessing of kings. Yeah. And now we have a huge board, which yeah. he doesn't clear. That's great. Oh boy. Okay. We'll do how much time do we have actually? It's, it's like. It's I like have 22 that I counted. Right, okay. It's like 5, 7, 9, 18. No, we have a lot more. We, we win. Yeah. Actually, okay. just, just threw all you have in the Silver Moon Guardian. And oh, yeah, I forgot about the Dark Iron Dwarf, yeah. Uh, yeah, place him on the. Oh. Yeah, okay. Either way, yeah. We don't have a place for the abusive, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't, didn't count, but... Uh, 14, 18, 20... Yeah, we, we got it. Okay. Remember, Kelthalos. 
Otherwise, we would have had to trade the totem into yeah. the smith, so we could play the abusive sergeant with the silverman guardian for another four damage. That wind fury and buffs combo is something else. Yep. We have some synergy in the deck, but it's nice on its own. That's. I think mm -hmm. that's one of the first things that you asked me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a... I don't know, if you get like a big body with Wind Fury, especially, then it should... Like, they ha like have to deal with basically anything you Wind Fury, like, really fast. Or you can make really favorable trades or just hit their face really bad. Oh man, we are doing this for almost two hours now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have five wins. Four hours the dream. Yeah, I think that we'll probably just end up like finishing this run, mm, and then probably that should be good. I mean, I feel like I'm learning a lot, but I guess I won't know until I put it in, try to put it into practice. I think I only want to keep the goal here. Mm -hmm. So we barely draw into our hexes, oh. do we? I mean, we have two of them, but I've. Not seen too much of them. Yeah, I haven't seen the um, like the Stormforge Axe was the first time was last yeah. game. That was crazy. I think I want to coin the um Amani. Yeah. yeah. The the synergy with the ghoul is back. Yeah. How many runs did we guys do? Uh, basically, the uh, well, in fact, that's the first. <laughs> mm, yep. And uh, probably the only one regarding that we are up for two hours. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I want a knife juggler here instead of ghoul because he doesn't have any minions out. Mm. If you think one turn ahead and play the ghoul and play the acolyte, then then you get at least one card draw and maybe an enrage. Yeah. Berserker. Right. Okay. So yeah, and. The Considering that, then I think that definitely the ghoul takes it. Yep. Oh no. Not the game plan freeze. Okay. Worst thing would be, um. Raging Morgan. Mm hmm. That's okay though. Trades with the ghoul yep. still and enrages and draws us a card. Hmm. Could th oh, we could actually trade here, but I think that's too greedy. Or, no, we want to be more greedy and play the Acolyte, right? Yeah. Okay. Because then the, um, the Amani is still two pings from him. Yeah. Unless he play, you know, unless he plays something else. And we have so many buffs for it so far. <laughs> like, good god. Like turn, how much is Wind Fury two, right? Wind Fury Flame Tongue abusive. That's <laughs> sickening. That's ridiculous. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he had to put a stop to that. We still have some great options. Oh yeah. Um, I, my first instinct is Unbound, and then, um. Abusive on one of the probably the acolyte maybe and trade in. Yeah. Hi. Uh, stop. 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 Yeah. Other order. Abusive first. Oh. Okay. Draw the card first and. Oh yeah, draw the card first. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. P potential Stays next play. the same. But... Yeah. It's always the option. Always the chance. <coughs> oh yeah, and it's another mage. That's four mages in s I think seven games. Two yeah. paladins and a... I forget what that was. <laughs> Maybe it was just mages and paladins. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, well, this guy's pretty pretty beefy. Huh. Maybe you sh should have played the... Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Mm -hmm. Um. Wow, the hex. <laughs> Jinxed it. That's all we get. Um, I kind of like knife juggler and flame tongue. Yeah, I like this too.
Nice. Mm, okay. We still uh, have to it, send the abusive in. Just to keep the thing at full health? Yeah, and the abusive die, dies anyway in his next turn to his yeah. full ability. So. Yeah. Okay. And, and his Stoneman champion uh, trades with the knife juggler, so we have to kill it. And yeah. And if he plays Blizzard, then the whole board dies. <laughs> well, except for the Flame Tongue Totem, which is pingable next turn. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Uh. I think that I would boulder fist and hope that the knife hits the sludge belcher and then trade it for the unbound and then kill the slime with the juggler it makes them really susceptible like they're both going to be one health yeah. but it's better than losing the knife juggler and well i don't know then it would still be a four three unbound or i could play the earth elemental and make it a five five okay just uh yeah uh, uh, just play the ogre left beside the juggler mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm most willing to sacrifice this in case yeah, yeah okay, okay so yeah so juggler into the voucher. Yep. Yeah. Although we have two hexes, I think it's not worth it. Yeah. And now the at least the ogre survives. Yeah. And we have a whole lot of damage on the board. Yep. I just want to get that wind fury. Okay, yeah, that that couldn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beefy sheep. <laughs> okay, now it's a dead sheep. Hmm. I like. I don't know. I like Ventrico and Earth Elemental here. I'm not sure which one would be like Earth Elemental buffs my Unbound. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um. Earth Elemental is uh, uh, Overload 3, right? Yeah. So we could play the Venture Co. next turn. Yeah. Okay, so I like this play. Okay. And then Totem too? Yep. Might as well. Yeah. Healing Totem would be... I mean, except for the MC Tech, but yeah. Eh, taunt, that's... Okay. Frozen screen. Do you play on a laptop, or...? No, desktop. <laughs> it's lately, I don't know why, but lately it has been, while I've been playing, it will randomly freeze up. Okay. It's been like the last three days it's happened, and it's never happened before, and I have no idea why. Uh, I, I think I read it. something on Reddit with Frozen game plans mm -hmm. since the last wing opened. Sure. Well, that's the, that's the curse, I guess. Uh, well, the reason why I liked Earth Elemental more than Venture Co. is because the Elemental doesn't die to um, Fireball. Mm -hmm. And playing the Venture Co. one turn later is better for the curve. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The new patch is causing issues with Windows 8. Do you run Windows 8? Yeah. Okay. There we got it. Mm. Ah! One mana sure. Uh. Yep. Okay, I'm still Is Venture Coast still a point? I'm still imagining the possibility of a flame strike. Yeah. In this case would be a 7 6, and he would have. Uh, 7 2, he would have 2 mana. Or yeah. And he used a frost bolt. Yeah, but the, the, the thing stays around still, right? Mm hmm. Um. I would totem. Hope for the healing totem again. Yeah. <laughs> healing nice. totem MVP in this game. And yep. I think we can waste the hex on this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that is out of flame strike range for both of them. Uh. So you can only pick one to kill. Uh, Chad is pointing out that he pinked the Earth Elemental to 4, 
but that could also be a setup for another Frostbolt or something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Secret thing and just concede. Yeah. What Had to get that ah, extra slow. I, I remember the last... The, the one loss that we got was from a druid, actually. Yeah. So four he mages, was... two paladins and a druid. Yeah. We've killed all the all right. mages. Yep. Thank God. Those those things are too much for arena. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm gonna take a quick break real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay. So toilet break. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Okay. Be right I'll back. I'll be back. Okay, so I would be back in business right now. Okay, so this, the chat seems to like the whole um, coaching idea. Uh, I would be glad to hear something about uh, from the YouTube subscribers when they watch this video. If they like the idea. But I like it so far, so could imagine to do this more often. I don't feel m very comfortable at the moment to coach some rank play or construct it. Mostly because the meta is so shaken up and I'm not much into it right now so I would feel not to be the appropriate coach to coach for something like Legend or it. Rank 5 should be possible but Alright, I'm back. Yeah. Nice. Alright, one more win and we uh, have got a free arena. Well, you could also get a lot of dust, I think. But yeah. One of the things is nearly almost 150 gold. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> okay, so don't disappoint me on this one. Okay. Uh, I don't want to keep any of these cards. Yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to keep all of these. We have really good, really good late game tempo. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's like the worst hand we've ever gotten so far. Yep. Uh, and my headset is broken. I don't hear anything <laughs> right now. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, we can't coin out a totem, so... <laughs> we're, we're hurting, so... <laughs> well, all changes if we get a proper 2-drop. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So it's totem. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. 
I think I would have liked the series. Uh, maybe. Yep. If he has a turn two play, I would have liked the Searing Totem. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow. You could you could actually oh play God. you could actually play Yeti next turn and we couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Hmm. Should we drop the MC tech here? Yeah, uh, I think we have to. Yeah. We have some cards to catch up later. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I called it. Not much of a choice here. That's yeah. It. At least it trades with the Yeti. That's not that's nice. <laughs> if it gets a chance to. Yeah. The way the thing started, I would expect Frostball ping. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Wow, he's getting so much value from the pint sized thing. Mm-hmm. Is it worth it to Earth Elemental here, even though it will be very bad for us next turn? Next turn we would have three mana, so yeah. we could Unbound or Totem. Yeah. He has three, seven, nine damage on the board, so he could... Hmm. If he has a Polymorph or something... Yeah. But we are still facing 9 damage to us, so we would be at 11 otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, I think I kind of have to play the Earth yeah, Elemental. Yeah, a little bit early, but I also yeah. think so. Should I hit the Fen Creeper with the uh, Ancient Brewmaster? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, if he has to trade, then he has to trade, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, and... Leaving one uh, thing at 1 health against the mage. Mm-hmm. I just hope that he doesn't have Polymorph or Fireball ready. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Seems like this might be loss number two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this might be... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this pint-sized thing. It's just really annoying. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Wow. Hmm. Three, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, either try for a taunt totem or just play the unbound and. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, I guess. Uh, probably totem, and if it's healing, run it into the fen creeper. If it's taunt, then we may stay around one turn. Yeah. Over. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So don't attack. I don't. Well, next turn could be fire elemental, right? I mean, maybe it's worth it. Or storm, or storm wind, and then trade yeah. into it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nevertheless, I think we lost. Yeah. <laughs> Barring something miraculous. Hmm. Okay, so maybe... Oh, oh, okay. Maybe he plays it to save. Uh, well, he's still 6, 7, 8... Uh, and 6 mana left, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good god. Okay. All right, MC Tech, where are you? Okay, so now now is the time to play the lightning storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I could play the Azure Drake and draw a card. <laughs> I think we're dead, but play the Azure Drake, maybe we yeah. just forgot just for about something. Just for fun. Okay. 
think I think that's I think it's concede time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dang. What he a had, start. Yeah, he had a <laughs> <laughs> he had a pretty strong start, and we had a pretty weak start. And that's basically yeah. it. And then at the time we needed to hope, uh, well, our hope got smashed by the polymorph. Yeah. That's basically the story of the game. That's okay though. Mage finally got us revenge for his six mage brethren. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, if you're watching my... I don't know if you do, but if you watch my... Uh, arena videos, then I, I don't face that many mages in a row. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever had um, six now, I think, mages. <laughs> wow. I think I'll keep the harvest, get rid of the other two. Does that sound good? Is there merit to the Dark Iron Dwarf? No. <laughs> No, just do it. I'm thinking about tossing the harvest golem back, but on the other side, every time or yeah. like every second time I do this and be greedy, I'll get a hand like fire elemental war golem. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I don't know, flame tongue. Or <laughs> this isn't a terrible no, start. No, that's a great hand. Okay. I think Amani's obvious play here. Yeah. The next turn. Every oh, time boy. I play against it, I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit confused about how annoying mirror images are. Yeah. Especially when you play a mana worm. You play mana worm, coin, <laughs> mirror image, and then yeah. it's just over. Okay, I think Harvest Golem here just for the ability to get rid of those if yep. he doesn't get killed. Yeah. <coughs> Banana with cheese on the menu. Okay. <laughs> So one of my uh, one of my best friends' brothers actually. <laughs> mm. I'm oh pretty boy. impressed by how much the abusive sergeant accomplished nothing here. Yeah. Mm, I want to say acolyte, and then just kill one of the mirror images. But I guess there's potential for the hex as well because then I could get rid of it instantly. But Oh no. I try to imagine the following turns and I hate <laughs> water elemental <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's so beefy. It doesn't even matter that it has three attack. It's just that six health is too much. And uh, if you look at our hand, I think we don't have... Well, the mirror images will at least last like this and the following turn. Yeah. So whatever he plays after that is with the water elemental. So. I'm really thinking about hexing it, although, although I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like we almost have to to okay. maintain yeah. anything. Yeah. And then I would, I, I don't, I kind of want to play the abusive so that I can get rid of clear the board yeah. next turn. Okay. Just to have the two, the two one. Yeah. Even if he pings it, he can play something for two mana instead of yeah. Four. So yeah. it's more like a fairy dragon instead of a yeti. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, this guy. This hello, guy. you again. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Um, I like unstable just to slow him down, but it's really only a temporary solution. I like the ghoul with the uh, acolyte, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's got good, good synergy. Uh, it kills the good abusive, but. Yeah. That's a price we have to pay. Yeah, we get another card for it, so... Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> what? 
What? I don't get the play at all. Yeah. I mean, he should have get rid of the ghoul next. Tr I, I, I. This. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the play at all because now we can get rid of the divine shield easily. We can. E we can also just kill the scarlet crusader with the ghoul now. Mm -hmm. He should have traded with the ghoul, so we would have lost the abusive sergeant anyway. I don't get the mm -hmm. play at all. Yeah, I don't know why he... But so at, this, at, this, at this point of wins, I'm like, okay, there must be a secret reason behind this. Yeah. So should I ghoul into the scarlet and get, to get rid of the scarlet? And we, don't, and we, we don't have a possibility to kill the elemental yeah. for now, so yeah, it's probably the best. And draw and then a card. We'll get, the, get the card, yeah. Uh, there's an answer. Yep. I guess. Should I just uh, throw it on the golem and hit him? Auctioneer, auctioneer, rockbiter on golem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. And we still have a good board for champion next turn. And we played the Octony before it was in before we were in flame strike range. So. Yep. He plays the third water I'm element. I'm still <laughs> confused about this <laughs> ping Scarlet Crusader play with a ghoul on the yeah. board. I feel like he wanted to be really conservative, but <laughs> it kind of backfired. Oh, now he gets rid of the Octony. That's just perfect. Yeah. You think Stormwind is still my play? Uh, would cost how much? Ten then, no? Hmm. And we couldn't play the elemental next turn. Yeah, yeah. hmm. I'm not sure. <sighs> I'd play Venture Co. Totem, I guess. Yeah, that was my... I was thinking that potentially that. Okay, so that's not too bad. No. We get a lot of pressure and a frozen screen. Sure. So the, that's the thing I always say, I'm like, you know, I don't like, like... It's hard with Venture Co. because he makes all of your other minions cost more, but he is a huge threat for... No, just five mana. Yeah. We're about to get. I think we might get a lot of alkalite value here. <laughs> yep. Okay, he frost bolted. Uh, hmm. Alkalite into the apprentice first. Draw a card. Yeah, why not? Hello, you doors. Um. Then I'm tempted to dwarf the stone claw to kill the leper, but that's not um, an ideal trade, I guess. But he kind of cleans up his board, and then he still has to deal with the venture co. You know what? I think we hex the teacher and just totem. Okay. You even with the venture co out, we can co uh, use the elemental next turn. Yeah. And we have a possible trade with the acolyte. The acolyte, and yeah. Ah, and I hope for the healing totem. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been huge with an acolyte of pain. Uh, healing totem MVP. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, oh my god, a third one really. <laughs> a fourth, okay. Huh. <clears throat> At least he's top decking now. Yeah. I kind of want to run the Venture Co into one of these. Mm hmm. But then I have to acolyte the hex. Um. I think that's kind of. 
Like, yeah, I'll pro I mean, well, I guess I won't technically lose value for the Acolyte. Like, yeah. it'll, it'll eventually get killed, so. Yeah, this opens me up. Okay. For... Hmm. Do I want a fire elemental or the water elemental? No. Don't think Do so. Do I want to... Uh... Huh. Would just Shattered Sun the totem to trade with the gnome? Hope mm -hmm. for another totem and... Uh, oh, I should have rolled first. Oh, yeah. actually it doesn't matter, I live, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And then pass or play one of my dark irons. I think we pass. Yeah. We're not under pressure right now. <clears throat> yeah. And we got a taunt. That's nice. nice and we have a good buffer. good stuff on the board for the stone. Oh well, now we don't. <laughs> that's that's why we didn't play anything. Yep. Okay, but we have so much card advantage over him now, yep. which is nice. Let's say just play both elementals. Okay. It's not a great play, but yeah, just has one card, so get a little yeah. bit pressure up, and we will kill this eventually. Mm -hmm. Jeez, Louise! <laughs> wow, second year Sarah today. It's yep. Wow. So maybe I was a little bit too fast with hexing the... Yeah, that's okay. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to try Stormwind Totem, maybe. Uh. Yeah, maybe we get a opportunity to kill the Ysera next turn. Yeah. I don't like it too much, but... <laughs> maybe we should have gone for the ah. third Hex, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll hit him, I'll hit him three at least. No. Boy. Oh, oh, my <laughs> oh my gosh. What a comeback. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We just have to MC tech the Ysera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. There's a lot of value in this board. Okay. Definitely MC tech. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Urgh. Okay, jeez. Alright. Um, I can kill the Ysera. I could kill the Emerald Drake. I could kill the Emerald Drake and the Fire Elemental, potentially kill you Sarah next turn, but... I think we want the Ysera dead now. Yeah. Then we have a lot of stuff on the board, so... Should Probably I... Dark, Iron, and X and Totem. I wanna... Stomach Knight. Yeah. Okay, and then run that and my yeah. axe into the... Yeah. Okay. And then hit face with this? Uh... Yeah. Might as well, I suppose. It's still 13 damage on the 13 board. 13 damage, yeah, if he's got a fireball, he wins. Wow. <laughs> or almost wins, I guess. Well, yeah, wins with the ping. Yeah. Wow. Oh, boy! Yeah, that's why I wanted it dead, but... Mm -hmm. uh. Wow, this this was a comeback. 
Yep. Okay, so I was I think the the early hex lost us the game to be honest. All right. We got this. <laughs> we got this crucial knife juggler going to kill the emerald drake and we're still going to lose. <laughs> And then we talk the healing totem into healing us instead of the minions. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. If we kill the Emerald Drake, we win. Okay, no, we still got a chance. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, we're done. We're just... Uh, sorry. It's all good. Six wins. It's fine. That is perfectly reasonable number of wins. Almost level 25. I wanted to uh, hit your earlier record, but... Mm -hmm. It's okay, sometimes you just play against seven mages. <laughs> <laughs> we won against most of them. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. This Violet Teacher Hex, oh man, but yeah. it's haunting me. Yep, 130 and a pack, not bad. Yeah, that's still ve very rewarding, but... Oh yes. Right. For those who are wondering on the cam what I'm doing, I'm trying to catch some insect. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Would have been nice to get a legend. Every yeah, year. definitely. That strand of one's nice. I like having another device, Apple Pain. Counter spell. I think I already have a counter spell. And this is like my seventh leopard gnome, so. <laughs> 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 It's okay. When I began well, thanks craft, for the coaching. When I began crafting, I think yeah. I had like I, I wanted to the first deck that I wanted to dra craft was something like an aggro warrior. And I was like, okay, I I have I don't know, six kind of these cards, but not a single leper gnome. I don't want <laughs> to pay ID dust for a leper gnome. But I did and afterwards I got like five more in the <laughs> next ten packs or so. so yeah. yeah. That's how, uh, how the game works. Definitely the card I've seen. So, most. it's time for a resume. Tell me how you All liked right. it. Or disliked it. I, I liked it a lot. It, okay. um, it helped me kind of... The, the main thing, like the... I guess the drafting wasn't really like a huge concern. You said that I did pretty well with that at first. And that's that's just me kind of like when I play arena, I you know use the tier lists and things like that and try to remember those. And then like high value cards, things like Dark Iron Dwarf and you know, like Yeti and uh, Harvest Golem and things like that. But then getting into game, I think, is where I have the most trouble. Just, uh, like, knowing when to trade and knowing how to trade and then even knowing how to do certain combos and, like, things you saw with the Acolyte of Pain, like using Acolyte of Pain first to draw a card to make sure there wasn't a better option, you know, from a top deck. And that's the kind of thing that I can work on and having you kind of, like, play out the turns like that. And then... Uh, thinking ahead um, a lot was helpful, especially against mages. Like the turns, like I, I usually remember like the turn seven flame strike and things like that. Um, but you kind of made it really obvious how to how to look at those kinds of things and like to know depending on who you're playing when they're going to play what. And I think that was especially helpful. Okay, I'm flattered a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm actually blushing, but uh, blushing, but okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you liked it and. As I said in the beginning, as one of my first frequently viewers, uh, I think you deserved it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad I got the the opportunity. I was I was really excited. I was talking to my friends about it all week. Actually, I was so excited <laughs> to get coached and you know maybe learn something, get get better, that kind of thing. Okay. So. Cool. Um, well, like I said, I would have liked to gain get more wins here, and especially the 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 hex will haunt me like yeah. <laughs> the rest of the day which is shorter than your rest of the day but yep. it's it's still haunting okay uh, so I'm glad that you liked it and um, glad that it turned out not to be a disaster <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like 1-3 or so <laughs> this would have been a yeah. little bit awkward um, but okay uh, thanks for those in the chat for getting with us um, yeah, and let me know in the video how you liked it, um, if you should do more of these.
then. Or if I should just quit playing altogether. I'm just hmm? If I should just quit playing altogether, you know. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, you did a really good job. I really appreciate it. Actually, I think in the screen share thing of Skype, there is little to no lag. I mean, the Twitch is all, almost like 20 or 30 seconds behind, but <laughs> this would have been disastrous for here. So, mm -hmm. so it's nearly... Um, forgot the word. Uh, current time thing. Yeah. You know. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone and hopefully see you on next time. Bye bye.